afternoon. My name is Sandy Matheson and I'm a vicar uh, in the, on the south coast of England. Uh, this is the second of my tutorial videos today, the second one that I said I'd do quite a while ago. It's on how to remotely control OBS when you are broadcasting. So rather than fiddling around with a mouse and uh, clicking on things, uh, you can use uh, another computer or you can use your tablet uh, or your phone to remotely click between scenes and start recording, stop recording, start streaming, stop streaming. So there's quite a lot you can do with this. It's all free. So there's two, uh, one piece of software and a website we need to go to. So let's look firstly at the piece of software. Uh, it's this one, OBS WebSocket. Uh, this is version 4.8, which has come out about a week ago. Uh, and this is the URL of that, uh, github.com forward slash palakis forward slash OBS dash websocket dash uh, slash releases. Uh, I will put that uh, link in the uh, details of this video uh, below. Uh, but to make it easier, I've made a short link to it. So tinyurl.com forward slash OBS link one. WebSocket is a plugin uh, for uh, OBS and you can go down and see the details here. At the bottom of the page, there are installers. Uh, so you've got an installer for Mac and you've got an installer for Windows. Uh, I simply clicked on the uh, Mac package because I'm on a Mac. You could do the same on a Windows. Uh, open it up uh, and say, yes, I want to install it. And there we go it's now installed. So that's how easy it is to install the WebSocket which enables uh, this remote control to happen. The second bit is also uh, fairly easy but for it you need to know the IP address of the computer that is running OBS. Uh, now on Windows uh, if you go to a command prompt, you can type in ipconfig, ipconfig, and it will give you your IP address. So here's uh, what the computer thinks is my IP address. It's a little bit complicated because I'm running it uh, on a Mac. I'm running Windows on a Mac, so it's just a bit different. So that's how you can find out on a Windows machine uh, go to a command prompt, type in IP conflict, hit config, hit return, and it will give you the IP address. Uh, on a Mac, <coughs> you can go to uh, your settings, system preferences, network, and on Ethernet, here's the IP address. And if you want a Wi-Fi one, you need to go to advanced and TCP IP and here's your IP address. So for the next set step we need to know what that IP address is. So whether you're on Windows or on Mac you need to find that. Let's close that down and then you need to go to uh, a slightly different website. This one is t2t2.github.io forward slash obs-tablet-remote. Uh, again, I've uh, done uh, a link for that. So it's tinyurl.com forward slash obs link two. So tinyurl.com forward slash obs link one and obs link two. Now we need to put into our, our host here the IP address of the machine that we're using to control um, that we want to use that OBS is on. So I'm going to move this 
I'm going to move my camera because I've already done that on my tablet. So you'll see here is the IP address. Uh, it's the same OBS uh, tiny URL dot uh, com slash OBS link to and I'm going to click connect. And then I've set mine up to have to have a password. So I'm going to type in my password. There we go. And what you can now see is uh, the scenes from OBS. So I'm going to move my camera so you can see both OBS and the remote control. So down here, you can see the scenes. So opening title, candle prayer, reading, this read. main. Uh, you can also see that as I click them, they're changing on here. Because what I can do is simply click on here instead. Now, it doesn't work very well showing you myself on OBS there because it just disappears into the far distance. Um, I can also show you on my tablet, I've got uh, streaming. I'm not going to click that one because it would take me live. But you can also start recording. There we are, it's now recording and it will tell you how long it's been recording for. And you can stop recording. So you can set up these things with the uh, edit there. So you can decide what you want to see and what you want to control. Have a play with it. Uh, it's very simple to set up, incredibly helpful on a Sunday morning and very simple to use. Uh, I use it every Sunday uh, for our Sunday services and uh, on other occasions as well. And especially when you've got, what, four, eight, twelve different parts of a service, it makes it a lot easier uh, rather than clicking. And it means that someone can be sat in front of uh, the OBS screen like I am and someone else in the room could actually be controlling OBS and switching between scenes on it. So I hope this has been helpful to you and uh, it will help with your uh, streaming and your ministry. Thank you for watching. God bless.